afternoon. My friends, Grim here. I hope you're doing very well today, and welcome to Chapter 33 of Halvar Saga. We are here on a ruined and crumbling battlement that gets my fear of heights, uh, gets that going a little bit, but never mind that. We are in pursuit of the second Elder Scroll off-camera. I did the, the whole thing where you need to just purchase and then cast a single spell to be granted entry. I didn't remember, because I had done that in a previous playthrough, I didn't remember if you had to go around leveling up the magic a little bit first or not. Thought that would be a little tedious to do it on camera. Turns out you don't have to. That is okay. You see, Janas has got just a little bit of bling, a glass dagger, some glass boots, nothing too crazy, just some magic items that she wanted to wear, uh, that she's able and willing to wear, that we found while doing our usual off-camera buying and selling. So there you go, my friends. We are here in the College of Winterhold, as mentioned, looking for that second Elder Scroll. Halvar, not a yes, big fan of this college. Not a learned man. Uneducated. But that doesn't mean unwise or unintelligent, right? Um, also not a great fan of magic, the arcane arts, its influence on Skyrim, etc. So, with that in mind, Halvar is welcome, welcome. We not here for the classes, Wait. not here for the coursework, so not here to do anything except kick open some doors and demand the Elder Scroll. We've been to the Soul Cairn and back. We've been through... Things that you people wouldn't believe. We've seen Most things you people wouldn't believe. And, don't let and so... You are now in the Arcanium. Whereas with I most new locations, it might as well be my own I'll be taking my time plan. doing the story-driven thing. My Arcanium. Here, and I will Halvar is just kind of you in and assistance. out as much as possible. Straight to the point, I'm looking for an Elder Scroll. And what do you plan to do with it? Do you even know Thank you, by the way, everybody, about? for watching. Really appreciate that, as well as all of the support. Give this a thumbs up, of course, if you do end up enjoying it. You think that even if I did have one here, I would let you see it? It would be kept well, under the highest security. The greatest thief in the world wouldn't be able to lay a shot, finger I on suppose. it. I need to find one. I don't know who told, told you, you could that, help. But I'll do what I can. What we do have are plenty of books. I'll bring everything we have on them, but it's not much. So don't get your hopes up. It's mostly lies, leavened with rumor and conjecture. Fight well. Oh, she's got a Nordic circlet too, lest we forget. Lest we forget to mention that. I like the uh I like that term leavened, as it refers to go. Try not to spill anything on them. Rumor and fact in their relationship. Discerning the transmundane. That's the one that prompted a... mini quest. Where are we? Okay, I'm not sure why it wouldn't pop up in books so we could actually read it, but I don't want to see you treat hundreds of years have gone into assembling this, this collection. ruminations book is I, incomprehensible, my friend. Septimus Cygnus. He's the world's master of the nature of Elder Scrolls, but well, he's been gone for a long while. Too long. Somewhere up north, in the ice fields. He said he found some old Dwemer artifact, but well, that was years ago. Ugh, haven't heard from him since. All no, right. They say knowledge is its own reward. The sooner we can get out, the better. Away from this accursed college. And it's funny how we are here at just about the very tip of the world. And that orc says, up north, you can find this man up north in the ice fields. It's really not very far at all from where we are. Um, 
the other thing I'd like to do while we're up here is return the Helm of Winterhold that we found at the end of the last chapter. So it's probably easier to walk north from Winterhold rather than from the balcony of the college, right? And we also don't want to keep the good Jarl waiting before we return his excessively mediocre helm to him. You're lost? I know it's all about the history and the symbolism of the piece. You know, Winterhold used to be the seat of power. But Can you still, that this my dude used to contend for the throne of the High King. This guy now, just does have magnificent hair and a really sweet circle. Lord has promised. So, I guess Winterhold he doesn't really need a helm. Alright, anything else you need, my Jarl? There is room I find myself wanting to help this fame. blighted area. It's an honorary title, mainly. But there are a few perks someone like you could make use of. However, I could only grant the title to someone who is known throughout my home. You help my people. I know the drill. Good luck to you. I. Our courier will be the first to tell you that if it weren't for that college, we'd all be better off. I agree with him. Alrighty. So. Done and done, as Serana would say, right, Ser <laughs> right Serana? Into the north. Into the north we go. I tried to give Serana... We actually found some quite good robes of destruction. She would not don them. Tried a few different things that she wouldn't don. I guess the, her base armor is just superior. But it's hard to know exactly what would be better. I wonder if we'd, like, improved that armor that she wouldn't wear. Maybe would she wear it then? Who knows? But anyway, I'd say it's about time we get into a little adventuring, my friends, wouldn't you say? No item updates for Halvar, by the way. Just rocking the same stuff, which has been serving us quite well. Done done. I told you, she says done and done. Incessantly. All the time. Forever and ever. The done and done is never done. Anyway, I hope everybody's having a grand old time. Viewing this series, following the saga of the great Halvar. Hope everybody's doing well in their lives as well. It's a strange old time to be alive. Nothing much most of us can do about that, so we carry on, right? Horker are no match. Good to know. I think we're just about here. <sighs> Septimus Cygnus's outpost had discovered, helpfully named, so as to leave no doubt.
when the top level was built, eh? no more could be placed. It was and is the maximal apex. Silence, madman. Elder Tell me Scrolls of the Elder Scrolls. The Empire, they absconded with them. So they think Serana stands the protectively ah, the ones they thought they next saw. to the madman as though to I say know, Halvar but I be kind go to it, Halvar be patient <laughs> I already have one wife Serana with all of these interactions well, Halvar has focused like a laser plane, where is the scroll can you help me find nearby, the scroll relatively speaking <laughs> On the cosmological scale, well, it's all Don't make me hurt you. Oh, a brutish one. <laughs> Septimus has no Yes, admittedly, but no usual but brute. As, as we said way back at the beginning, chapter two, maybe. No usual speech. brute. What can I do for you? you see, How can I grease this wheel? Deep inside their greatest knowings. Septimus is clever among men. But he is but an idiot child compared to the dullest of the Dwemer. Lucky then they left behind their own way of reading the Elder Scrolls. In the depths of Black Reach, one yet Black lies. Reach. Have you heard of Black Reach? Cast upon where Dwemer City slept, the yearning spire hidden learnings kept. Under deep okay, I, I respect that. Couplet. A hidden keep, tower mark. Offhand, the point of puncture, a first entry of the tapping. Delve to, but not all. I'll find it. Never Two mind. I'll just find I it. I have for you. Two shapes, one edged, one round. The round one for tuning. Dwemer music is soft and subtle. The edge. Fine. Trust Septimus. He knows you can know. Okay. Not even going to bother to ask him what I'm to do with the sphere dark, in the cube because we will get nowhere. We won't really get anywhere with that man. As you guys know, I'm usually happy to let the dialogue play out. To hear people out, let them have their say, let them have their moment in the sun. Let the story-driven Skyrim be driven by the story and all that good stuff. But, just sometimes it's really not all that interesting. Just sometimes. So, it seems clear that we're going underground into another, yet another Dwemer ruin. And it seems to me like it's been... Not that long since we were doing a fair amount of that, right? So with that in mind, maybe, just maybe, we're going to take Serana out for a spin. Doing a couple of other things first. We could go back up to Solstheim. We've got Scathecraw to harvest and the Deathbrand treasure to find and the searching the island for Stalrim with which we can craft Nordic jewelry. There's four quests there that are all kind of related. Um, that seems pretty cool. We could also do some miscellaneous questing as well. But I think maybe the first thing we'll do is help Danica Piercepring repair the Gildergreen, if we can, by retrieving Nettlebane, which is down here a little old place called Orphan Rock. I just feel like uh, adventuring a little bit outdoors. In the out of doors. Before we go. Back down into yet another. metallic steampunk window into the past ruin and uh let's just make sure we're charged up i thought we might be low here on the old talon and 
infused with the souls of many horkers, it is now even deadlier than before. And because I, I don't envision Serana as a long-term companion, I don't necessarily want to just rush through the Dawn Guard quest and then ditch her forever, you know? It's not to say we could never use her again, but it is cool to do a few other things with Serana in the event that she does not become our mainstay. Comrade here. We've got some hags. Hello, hag. Why are you hiding from me? Don't you want to meet my... Don't you want to make my acquaintance? This hag's having a little more trouble. She just shot these lightning bolts into her own barricade. Not not gonna make it. Oh my goodness. That it? That's your best? Jeez Louise. That is a beastly hag raven, I think it is up there that I saw. Okay. I don't know how that happened. I drank the potions just in time to survive, but then a secondary type of effect got me. Well, I guess I talked a little too much trash about the hags, because that was actually... Whoops. That was actually a pretty ignominious death, if I have to say so myself. I know we're on a higher difficulty, but let's not try to die quite so much if we can. Gonna tread a little more carefully this time. So I think there's a third hag somewhere. I could be wrong. There's definitely that mighty hag raven up above. Who's Ire we have not yet drawn until maybe right now. Just a scratch. There's the third egg. Alright, Serana, you draw the fire. I'm going around. nothing. Oh, that was very helpful. She missed both of her long-ranged attacks. Could have gotten a little hairy otherwise. Well, we found Nettlebane. Very nice indeed. A pretty grim spectacle here. Alright, we've not cleared. I know there's at least a chest back here, if that makes sense. Still not clear. 
Not sure what else we might be missing. I guess I'm just gonna check over here one more time and then... Whoa. Ooh. Dang. That's quite the vicious trap. That I just sprung again? Or that I, I... I don't know why I said again. That I just sprung despite... Seeing it. I guess there is the spikes and then there's some other type of trap. Anyway. Good enough. Let's head back to Whiterun. We attacked the hags at dawn. They were routed. Now we can <laughs> dissolve a skeleton in front of these ever-present Alec here. Sick? You know, I always, I always think these Alec here don't belong there because they never. They were never there until we sided with the princess in exile in that quest, My Time of Need, or whatever she was. And now they're here and they won't leave, but they're always very helpful. They tell me when I'm sick and I need to go pray. Very perceptive fellows. There's the great Eorland. White Run belongs to the true sons of Skyrim now. Yes, Eorland. Are you glad that we, the Stormcloaks, are in charge? I'm sure my brother Vigna is, since they made him Jarl after throwing Balgruf out. Comes the end of the day, Imperials and Stormcloaks ain't that much different. Both sides want to tell you how you should live your life. Hmm, okay. Guess I'd okay. rather hear it from a real Nord than some Emperor down south. That's fair, you know? Mm -hmm. Totally fair. It's so bright out here. Well, Saranid is because I'm not a vampire. Hi. Acolyte Jensen. So, have you gotten Nettlebane back from those filthy hag ravens yet? I sure have, Danica. Oh, I... Well, I honestly didn't expect you to come back. Of course I'm glad you did. Now... I don't really want to touch that thing, though. Do you think you could handle the next steps? Elder Gleam Sanctuary I guess. is to the east of here. You can use Nettlebane to retrieve some of its sap. All right. Okay, I think this is the Gilder Green. Take a look at it, all withered and bare. And remember that when we restore it to its true glory. All right, we've already been here. I think this is in relatively early discovery for Halvar where we wandered around and didn't really find much, but it was clear that there was something more to it. Um. Another cave. I've spent enough time underground myself, but if you... I don't think this is an ordinary cave, Sarana, if I recall correctly. It's actually something quite glorious. Visually stunning. Could be wrong, could be thinking of something else, but... Let's be honest, Halvar is rarely wrong. It's everybody else <laughs> that is mistaken. Okay. Well, speaking of being wrong, I kind of jumped to a place I couldn't really get back up. Let's just follow the path henceforth. Yeah, we discovered this. There, I think there were a couple people kind of hanging out meditating or praying or just doing yoga, whatever. I have an idea. Nettlebane is a weapon. Yes. Okay with the dark. I thought that might work. That's pretty cool. 
I'm getting like a hobbits in Fangorn forest type of vibe though, because like these are some big roots and you know they coil up grudgingly. Will they close behind us? Let's find out. Hopefully not. Whoa, what the heck? Is it thematic to kill the Spriggan with Nettlebane? Yes, but I'll probably just do this. <laughs> just shows you the difference between what we... All we've been doing to level the skill and find good items. Okay, we gotta swap back to get behind here, I guess. Don't mind if I do for this chest. All right. Feels impactful to harvest some flowers from up here and other things. How often does any mere mortal get back here into the <laughs> deepest reaches of Elderglebe Sanctuary? Maybe I'll give these flowers to my family. Wouldn't that be nice? Be wary, Serana. Yeah, I see a couple more up there. Also see a chest up here. We're just going to grab that before we go further. Empty. Probably found that on a previous, our previous incursion. That'll teach you. Where'd you come from? Quite a cool little cavern, you have to say. I don't know if little is the operative word there either, but you know what I mean. Night has fallen, the moon is risen, cannot fast travel when enemies are nearby. Well enemies, show yourselves. A dragon, a dragon dares. Vampires, too. Nice. It's always so hard to hit them on a horse, but Halvar's got them this time. We've got your number, vamps. Maybe this one, not so much. Okay, okay. You're forcing the dismount. Bit of a close call. Admittedly, I didn't use any pots. I'll fight the dragon if it lands, but if we can fast travel after looting, I will. Not too, too worried about it either way. No such luck. All 
Alright, dragon, if death is your wish, so be it. Where'd you come from? Take a big chunk out of that health bar. I dare say that might be the quickest dragon fight ever. We'll take it. No soul action? Okay. Can we fast travel now? Alright, here we go, here we go. You feel weaker as the sun rises. All right. I'm a vampire. Feeling sick. And I didn't know it. Well, that settled in quickly, because we prayed at the shrine. It must have just happened from that vampire attack. Right? Can I cure it now? Can I cure it with a potion of cure disease, or is it too late? I should have looked here to be sure beforehand, but I think we... I think we've cured it. Let's do it again, just to be sure. <laughs> well, that was awkward. Bash your face in after all you've done. Get out of here, Edeloth. Has the Empire forsaken us? How could White Run fall into? The Empire has forsaken you. There's no home for you here anymore. Why don't you go to solitude, dude? You've lost. You've lost White Run. You've lost the hearts and minds of the people. You've lost the battle. You're going to lose the war. Should just give up. Should just pack it in. Do you have the Elder Gleam sap? I've got the sap. Wonderful. I'll use it to repair the tree. Thank you so much for all your help. Oh, you got it. Grace of Kinnereth be with you. All right, feels good to do a, a good deed here. This war's as stupid as our feud with Clan Greymane. Well, there's a woman who is at least non-committal, rather than totally beholden to the evil and the slavery of the Empire. I can respect that a lot more. Assuming the Gildergreen... I keep thinking this is the Gildergreen, maybe that's not even it, right? But I think we'll probably see that in full bloom after sufficient time passes. So, Serana, where to next? Maybe you secretly hoped I'd become a vampire, but hopefully we've warded that off. Alright, we're going to do a little more questing before we go down in search of the Elder Scroll. The big question, though... Will it be in, on Solstheim? Or not? I think it will be. I think the ones that I'm most excited about are all up there. So. Serana, you've been all over the world, including when it was much younger. You've also been sealed away in a tomb for far too long, but have you ever been to the exotic island of Solstheim. If now you're is your chance. Talk to Captain Gyalin. 
Oh, I've Captain talked to Gallen Captain Gallen before. He's a great man. I'm just a ship's mate. He brought me to Solstheim for the first time. So I think the easiest thing to do is to gather up ten... Scavecraw here in town. There's three, four... If you're looking for passage five, six, to Barton, you're out of luck. Seven, eight, no nine. Ships are heading that way. Ten. I think that was ten. Let's grab a bunch here just to be certain. Your action. Since you we happen to find the merchants out and about, food. let's buy and sell them. Except not that guy, because he's a you got a good thing farmer with only you fifty you. gold. Mm. Blades, helmets, In pretty much anything to suit your needs. Nordic armor of the noble knight. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Oh, you get to keep Nettlebane? I mean, it's it's nothing, but it's a unique item, so maybe we should. Didn't bother swap, swapping gear. That is good enough me. for sure. I'll fix it up. All right. Okay, my chief. My... L <laughs> the overlord to whom I'm truly loyal. More loyal than to Ulfric. More loyal than to my wife, Mule. More loyal to than to Talos. I serve you. The reekling chief of Thirsk Mead Hall. And I've brought you a great tribute of ten Scavecrow. Good. Yes. Uh, now, when I like, I've seen some weird things, I but. <laughs> you want me to kill people? Bad people. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I think Halvar might really say I don't know about this, but because I just gave that whole half ironic, uh, I mean 99% ironic speech about how we're loyal to the chief. Well, let's let's try it out. This just seems too cool to pass up, right? It's going to be a bra moment if it's like Nords from Skull Village that we haven't even explored or talked to anyone there yet that we're killing on behalf of these Reeklings, but... Ooh. Kill the Nords! Yeah, I'm not gonna kill the Nords. We're gonna kill the Reeklings, sorry. This is gonna be a big act of treason. This is gonna be the biggest... turncoat moment of all time. We're going to wait until the Nords get here, and then we're going to attack the Reeklings. Sorry, little guys. You roped me into something that I'm not down for. The unfortunate thing is the Nords are going to be hostile either way. 
You know what, this is too out of character for Halvar. I hate to do the load thing, but we've got to do the load thing. Okay, the picture doesn't jive, but I think it's... Yeah, okay. We're going to say I don't know about this. Sorry, I'm not going to kill a bunch of cool Nords that are called something the intrepid on behalf of these little things. Halvar would never. I don't know about this. We revise our opinion. Join the assault. Okay. Maybe we can... I mean, because remember, remember how Halvar feels here. What does join the assault mean? Yeah, okay, sorry guys. I'm gonna load once again. Okay, not load here either. We're gonna load in the mead hall. And before we even tell him what's what, we've gotta go find and talk to those Nords because remember that Every Reekling we've ever known, besides these ones, has just attacked us on sight, right? Just totally attacked us on sight. And these ones are kind of cool, you know, they have speech and everything like that, and that's great. Very happy for them and proud of them. But they haven't done anything for us. Like, we brought their bar back. They didn't reward us for it. We brought him Scathecraw. No reward. And now they want us to kill a bunch of Nord adventurers? That they threw out of the Mead Hall? It's not going to happen. Unless these guys are hostile on sight, in which case there's no difference. Just leave us, please. Train them. What are we doing here? We should even get used to staying here. People seem pretty tense around here. You don't know the half of it. Yeah, just these are our people. Think. Come on. Help that her husband is one of the Definitely not going to kill them on behalf She's of those little rats. Kuvar. See, Secunda's playing. That's himself. how you know it is the right thing to do. Elmas, but the rest of us still have our edge. At least, I think so. And don't tell Elmas I said that. Are you one of the warriors from Thirsk, Mito? you ask. I fight, I protect the hall, I bring in meat. And I think I could take on most of the tree lovers up in the Skull Village. But because I'd rather drink a mug of meat at night instead of training until I drop, Kuvar calls me a layabout. Wish he would just lighten up. Huh. Interesting. See, I already... I would yeah. really regret coming in and killing these people without meeting them first. Um, my family's just about to get home. I'm gonna dip out for a minute, take care of that, and when I clip it back together. We'll be right here. See you in a moment. Okay, we're back. Meeting the Nords that we are thankfully not raiding and killing. Got any mead? Are you a warrior? I wouldn't be at Thursk if I wasn't. These days I focus a little more on the creature comforts of the hall, though. The food, the drink, the stories... It drives it's Kuvar mad, kind of weird because these people are talking like they're still in the hall when they've seemingly been booted by the Reeklings, well. so... Take me to your leader, Bujold the Unworthy. Unless you can help, leave us in peace. I, uh, I hadn't on it. What's going on here? What's going on here is that we've been kicked out of our home. Yeah. Up there on the hill. As I was we saying. Were... Some Reeklings have taken it over. How were, the, how were Reeklings able to overpower you? tenacity and numbers. It didn't help that we'd grown a little too comfortable up there. Too much mead. Too many stories. Too few battles. What if you had one or perhaps two extra Are you warriors? offering to help? 
Some new blood should be enough to rouse these layabouts to actually fight again. That sounds like fun. Well, let's move then. We have failed you, Chieftain of Thriskhal, but... Needs must. Ah, oh, I, I love how Serana will interact with the hey, environment like that. Lazy milk drinkers? Sitting Get down at the campfire here. and all that good stuff. I know you're all starting to settle in here and keep up the fat lives you've got used to up in the hall. But look here. This outsider has more fire than any of you. It's so true. All I had to do was mention our little infestation, and he volunteered in a second. I don't want to have my spirit outstripped by some wanderer, so let's get up there and kill us some reeklings. Approach Thirsk Mead Hall. Yeah, this is more like it, guys. Couldn't really live with myself if we just butchered these kinsmen of ours on behalf of those inscrutable reeklings again. As I believe I was saying before I had to step out for a moment. They've really done nothing for us. You guys can warm up a little bit on this bear, eh? We are squatted up. Huh? There's 13 of them and seven of us. Let's go get them. What was huh? that? I heard something. <laughs> the boar who we fed is uh, fleeing the scene, it seems. Doesn't want any piece of this. Thankfully. Prefer not to kill that hungry noble creature. Saronic, you can revive these little things? Even cooler. All right, we're taking back the Mead Hall. The Mead Hall b belongs to the Nords. That is, that is a fact. Hut will not save you. One left, or was that the final one? And we're catching up. Ah, oh, that was all of them. Okay. Easy enough. Uh. That was almost exhilarating. How are you feeling? That was easy. Good to hear. In fact, that's just the spirit I'll need for my second. Do you want to come with me? Where are you going? To Rothmund's Barrow. I need to get his blessing again before we take up residence here. <coughs> I'll need a witness and, well, you see the kind of horker brains I deal with around here. What do you say? I'd be honored. Well, let's not waste time talking about it then. Sounds like a nice adventure to me. I love this. Serana's looking kind of quizzically at the reekling she summoned as though studying it for future reference. See that? That's really funny. Oh, 
I'll buy an iron fur. I'd just like to document this strange happening. Don't worry about me. You and Bujold should get up to the barrel. Alright, yeah, this is a pretty exciting turn of events. Search the island for Stalrim. That's not what we need. Turn these others off for now. Hrothman's Barrow. Kind of deep in the heart of the island and potentially inaccessible, <clears throat> inaccessible from our side directly. So I think the thing that makes the most sense is to fast travel over here to Falbathar's and then try to take that route through the mountains. Who's there? And look at this. More Reeklings. They will never leave us in peace. We made the right decision to oust them from the Mead Hall. Make no mistake. Very nice. Eating some boar meat for the vital power that it gives. I do confess that a part of Halvar is, you know, not regretful, but uh, we're just a little bit intrigued. You know, what, what might have been? What would the reward have been? At long last, after proving ourselves so thoroughly and betraying our own kin. Just slaughtering innocent people. What riches would the Reekling chief have had to offer us? It's actually quite interesting to contemplate, but... Ooh, this is like a little albino spider hatchery. And there's also some kind of a barrow or tomb. Wow. I guess Serrano's got us covered, huh? White Ridge Sanctum requires a key? Okay. Intriguing. You can mine a sapphire geode. And look at this underground river emerging into the... Uh, fresh air. This is a, just such a cool place, Solstheim. Truly is. Okay, another barrow for our future questing purposes. But for now, we must not tarry any further. Except maybe to... Who's there? ...perform a little self-defense against this frost troll. Are you ready to go inside? The burial place of Rothmund, who founded Thursk. He brought a group of true warriors away from the soft life of the Skarl, to know the wilderness, to feel the sting of cold and of steel. I know that sounds a little silly. It's just the way it's written in the books, and that phrase has always stuck with me. It's no, pretty simple. Not silly at all. I quite 
anyone who attempts to take hold Vibe of it has the that. spirit judged by Rothmund himself. Are we going to fight? No, no, the ghost? nothing like that. He doesn't need to battle us to know us. He's always watched over Thursk and sees us from beyond. And in my case, since he's already deemed me worthy, it will just be a matter of him remembering why he blessed me before. Really, all you need to do is watch. Well, I'm ready. Let's not waste any time then. It does sound a little Looking too easy, you know. I think we should expect the unexpected here. But if that is your wish, I'd like to know why she's called the unworthy. Is that maybe a little bit of foreshadowing that she will be deemed unworthy for the axe and then maybe we get a crack at it? I'm just predicting here I've never played any Solstheim content before. Don't know a single thing about this. I'm predicting that either the ghost could find her unworthy and attack us, or the ghost will find her unworthy, then we get it and she's mad and she attacks us. Couple, couple ways this could play out. We shall see. Whoops. Hello. Never saw anything like I'd this. I'd really just rather hand. get to the barrow, if that's all right with you. That was kind of cool. The water level lowered to grant us a a, a dry and dignified passage. It is. So I just need to take hold of it. You seek my blessing for the leadership of Thirsk Hall? I do. It is I, Bujold. You blessed me in the past, and now I've rid the Hall of Reeklings and returned it to its rightful owners. And well it is that this has happened. But I have always watched and know that it was your softness that led to your own exile. You allowed your fellow warriors to grow weak while the dangers around you mounted. Then, the leadership is not mine? No, nor is there any among you fit to serve. For a band in the wilderness, it is better to have no leader than a poor one. Whoa, wisdom. That was a little embarrassing. <laughs> How does that make you feel? Ashamed, but I guess that was the point. Unworthy, one might Thursk. say. No matter what Rothman says, we need a leader, and I'm still the best person for that. You will defy look what's the founder of so your hall. Under his watchful eye. Ooh. He gave his blessing to all the leaders who brought us to this point. See, all of a sudden it doesn't go anyway, your way, and you're realized, rationalizing. It's time to begin a new tradition for Thursk. I'm going to do that. All I need is for you to back me up. You don't even need to lie. Just don't tell anyone else what you heard here. <sighs> I can't let you do it. I was afraid you might say that. Well, looks as though I'll have to prove my mettle against you now. Where'd you come from? Come here. <laughs> Oh, you really are unworthy. That'll teach you. Very sad, but it's the way it goes sometimes. And it changes her to the intrepid in death. That's pretty cool. I really thought I'd get a crack at the uh at the axe myself. That's part of why I chose not to keep it quiet. But, okay. I suppose that is that. Quest is completed. Nothing else remaining here, so. This would be a bit ironic if we end up going back to the Mead Hall and they maybe refuse to believe us, attack us on site, or maybe attack us once we tell them what happened. And we end up killing both sides of this squabble. Wouldn't like for that to be the case, so hopefully we can just 
appoint a new new leader, or maybe you will be the unofficial leader. Who knows? But while we're up here, my friends, and as the chapter winds down, I would like to explore White Ridge Barrow because that caught my eye for multiple reasons. I uh, also maybe need a little bit of time. Funny picture. <laughs> and here we go. Another dragon wants to rumble. An elder dragon, no less. Archery is... Wow! That dragon's breath is insanely strong. I was like, our archery is getting better, and then we just die. Nearly. That was brutal. Should probably be trying to dodge that breath rather than just tanking it and chugging bots. Comes again. though. Done and done, Serana. You know it. <laughs> An elder dragon falls before us, but not without taking its toll. I was always taught to avoid these types of villains. I think I see why now. Alright, as you were. Like I said, White Ridge Barrow holds some appeal here. No doubt about it. And we open the door to a... just... absolutely butchered... Reaver crew. Keep your eyes open here. Got spiders. I knew I heard something. Who's Which are really of no something. consequence, but remains to be seen whether the albino spiders are just a similarly innocuous variant to the mainland Skyrim spiders, just kind of cold adapted without really doing much else or whether they are the harbingers of a much more horrifying eldritch spider overlord or something to this end. I knew I heard something. And then right away we see something that makes us think the latter because there are 
fiery spiders that actually kind of do a lot of damage. They also seem to resist you fire damage. Done and done. So we've got to respect those enemies. Who's there? That'll teach you. things resist soul traps too. That constant kind of squirming, that slimy shuffling in the background is a little unnerving. Do you see what I see? Jumping flame spider, huh? And these flame spiders don't leave any anything lootable. Whoa, a bandit, but... Did you see his face? That was alarming. I knew I heard something. Alright, we need to find another chain somewhere to get across, one assumes. Might be right here, but I think it's more likely down on the ground level here. Yeah, see, they've got fiery skin. Done and done. Who's there? That'll teach you. You know, I actually thought about, uh, switching out this Akatosh's talon for the similarly powered axe that just gives you I think cold damage instead of fire damage just to switch it up because it'd be fun ended up not doing so mainly because I forgot and we're kind of getting punished for that decision you know it's really not that big a deal but if there's like a final boss that's a big old flame spider and we're not doing any fire damage to it Who's there? Done Who knows, done. but uh, I think overall this is a better Who's fit. Because Serana's got those frost spikes or whatever they are, right? She's got the cold damage, so. Ruby Geode Heartstone Deposit. You, come from? you can see why this would be a desirable place for bandits or. Maybe more accurately for miners, right? Well, guys, we're definitely over an hour now, I think. I'm not as confident as I would be because I had to split up the video. But if this isn't the end right here, we're going to call it and resume Who's there? questing in the next section. Ah! Well, I walked right into that bandit. In the next chapter, I mean to say. Yikes. a named character that is quite nearly killing us. We're going to resist fire, extreme healing, increase our health pool. We're 
we're just about out of health pots too, sadly. So we just gotta kinda regroup, make sure we're actually hitting some attacks this time. There we go. There we go, that's more like it. Wow, this guy has... You can throw spiders at people. The flame spiders are now in item form. We've got his journal. Very nice. Well, let's not die, though. Okay, I think that was the last of the f jumping spiders. Who's there? I knew I heard something. Who's there? Done and done. Alright, it felt like we were about done. Maybe we are still, but there's like more to come. Yeah, I guess we'll take a pickaxe. A little hard to say no to that. Let's read this journal, eh? Marilar's journal. I know what he's planning. Does he really think he can take all the credit for discovering these spiders? Next time he goes into the safety cage to do whatever it is he does with those spiders, I'll lock the door. He'll have no choice but to listen to me then. What does he mean about me not being right in the head? There's nothing wrong with me. He's the one trying to steal my discovery. Does he think I don't see what he's doing? There's nothing wrong with me. Nothing. He keeps talking to me like I'm insane. I'm not insane. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Understood. So there's another somebody that we need to see up ahead. Or maybe see the remains of if they were indeed locked in a cage. With... Highly combustible spiders. Highly combustible arachnids. Who's there? All right. Well, I'd, I'd prefer not to end this chapter in the middle of a cave, but it seems like we could still have quite a ways to go. So here's where we bow out, and we'll begin the next chapter basically right as we stand here. Thank you very much for tuning in to Chapter 33 of Halvar Saga. Very fun times, my friends. Oops, Sarana teleporting away on us. And then I swear I saw a spider, but I guess that was just the reflection. Oh, there's a, we did see a spider. It's Serana's undead one, and she's even being so good as to mine the ruby geode. I'll take it from here, Serana. Thank you all so much for watching. Appreciate all the views, comments, Patreon support, all the rest, and we will see you next time. Take care.